Hello and welcome to day 28 of 31 Days of Reflecting on Conscious Aging. Now, it's interesting that as you age, you become aware that there is less of your human journey ahead than there is behind. You know, we, we've lived more years than we have left to live, and that kind of becomes a sobering thought that um, somehow does take you closer to, or at least forces you, nudges you to um, become more conscious of what your relationship is, what your spiritual relationship is. Um, the closer you get to that finish line, the more curious you become about what might in fact be on the other side, because no one really knows for sure. And it's an interesting thing about time that as you age, you may not have the physical ability to do what you used to be do, and you can't even then be this identity of who you used to relate to yourself as. And yet, because we, many of us are, as we age, we get to a point where we're not needing to work as much, or if we do, we still kind of evolve into this place of knowing that being of service, it's not just about what am I going to get. You get pretty clear that you can't take all of the things with you. It's more about how can I be of service? How can I be a contribution? You have more spiritual energy and time um, available to you than you used to. And so I invite you to ponder not about what can you get in this second adulthood of yours, but actually, what are the ways that you can give? What are the ways that you can be of service? And what are the way, ways that you can kind of clean up any lingering um, resentments that need cleaning up? Um, because being fully present in this moment requires a forgiveness and a letting go of the past. So, Ponder today what your new identity is going to be during this second adulthood. Thanks.